so fired up, Dockage, when I listened um, and saw the responses to Aaron Rodgers. Like it, I, oh my God, I was so fired up. Um, and what really bothered me is this, this arrogance that people have within sports media right now that they know better than you know, and you're missing, like, dude, this is my body. Nobody knows what's, no doctor, I don't care who you are, knows better than me. I have learned, and I think becoming a mother has has opened my eyes to this. Like, you have to trust your instinct. You have to trust your gut. It's powerful. It is real. Um, and I'm not saying like, oh, my, obviously I consulted with doctors too, but like when you blast Aaron Rodgers and you don't know a thing about him and then they question like, oh, is he really allergic to something in the mRNA vaccines? Like, look, dudes, you are stuck in an echo chamber right now, filled with propaganda, filled with, with biases. And if you really sit down and dig into this, at the very least, there's a lot we just don't know. And so if you're not comfortable with it, why is that such a problem? If you're comfortable with it, go get it. We are blessed right. to live in this wonderful country where it's free and accessible and you are protected and good for you. But if I'm not comfortable with it, why is that a problem for you when you're still spreading it to like, like if it stopped transmission and infection, I would feel differently about these arguments, but it just doesn't. And we see that time and time again. So either your vaccine doesn't work and that's why I'm a threat to you. And if it doesn't work, then why do I need it? Like this notion that I have to get it for you to be protected makes no sense. I mean, just use common sense here. Like turn off the echo chamber and start thinking critically about this. Like it works or it doesn't. Right. I understand this concept. Of, it's not the measles. This isn't polio. Like it, 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 the virus replicates so differently and works so differently. This is a respiratory virus. It spreads differently. So um, this notion that if we get enough people vaccinated, it's just going to go away. Like, based on the science, it's not exactly true. And there's a lot of doctors who will tell you everything I've just said. That's obviously how I've heard it, but they're not going to be on CNN. So you might have to get outside of your comfort zone a little bit to hear some information from some very smart people who have some different opinions. And I don't know why that's that's such a bad thing. Like I try to listen to both. I try to really be educated about both and and make a true informed decision. And that's that's what informed consent is. And that's what not what we're getting right now. I think it's intimidating to people. A hundred percent. Yeah. I think people just want an easy way out. Oh, you're yeah. there. Oh, you're there. You know what I mean? Yeah. And they want they want three letters next to your name and you know, you to be credentialed to think critically. And I just don't buy that. Like this whole, oh, if I want my house right, I'm gonna go to an electrician. If I want my car fixed, I'm gonna go to a mechanic. If I have a health question, I'm gonna go to a doctor. Yeah, but if you go to your mechanic and you have a brand new car and he tells you you need a new engine, aren't you gonna like, mm, dude, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you can ask questions of the experts and they should be questioned because if they're if the truth and the science is on their side, that will be validated and that will come out. Like if this, if this like the truth will come out. Questions should be welcome. We should be allowed to be critical and scrutinize and question things without being felt like we're the crazy ones. 